how do you see it going in Nebraska the first year? Because two years ago, best three and nine team in the in the NCA. Absolutely, arguable. With that, yeah. well, I don't think it's even arguable anymore. People still like to argue it. Yeah, because people like to facts. punch up. Yeah, 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 yeah it's, it's just factual, yeah, it's though. factual. And so but then last year, it just it didn't go as well as possible. There was a lot of turmoil. Obviously, yeah. Scott Frost getting uh, fired earlier in the year. You guys lose off American soil. It does not count, but that's yeah. maybe put you yeah, into a bit of a exactly. spin, right? Yeah. So now, like, you're looking at your roster. One of your big-time leaders was at Garrett Nelson. Yeah. That's his name. Mm -hmm. Goes to the NFL. Yeah. Who, like, when we spoke to him in spring, he was, like, lived, breathed corn. Like, he was— He's the example of, like, the, yes. yep. black shirt. Uh, yeah, yeah, black shirts. And so— who do you, I mean, we're not going to talk about your roster because I don't even know the guys on there. And I would never ask you to speak about your guys. Right. But how do our you guys. see it go? Our, your guys, guys. Yeah, yeah. How do you see it going in this first year? Yeah. Because you got some winnable games the first three games. That fourth one's going to be tough. But that you can, you have an opportunity to possibly be 3-0 and going into the Bussin' Bowl. <laughs> the bus and, you know what? I'll, I'll say this. Um, I always look like, I always say to myself, when you go to a place, the first thing you have to do is establish like the foundations of how do we work. So or I went to Temple. I had been I had been an assistant coach the year before. I mm -hmm. left and went one year to the Giants and came right back to be the head coach. But we were moving up in conference. They were going from the MAC to the kind of the Big East slash American as it was forming. So there was a there was like a we go up in conference. Something's you know it's yeah. gonna be hard. So we went to like high school four A now you're going up to five A. So like we were playing better competitions. The roster had to catch up. So we were two and ten. Um, I played. I just played all the freshmen. I said, I'm going to play these guys. And in four years, we're going to win a championship. And we did, right? We went and two and 10, six and six, hated you. 10 wins. Ten. And I played the seniors. No, I'm saying I played the seniors that w wanted to do it my way. And some of them were awesome. Yeah. But I just inserted a lot of the young guys as well. When I went to Baylor, there was, I think, 45 scholarship players. We had three offensive linemen. I moved the two tight ends. I moved one to center and I moved one to left tackle. And so I was coming up, taking over after a scandal, like, we were one and eleven. Um, the, I mean, but, but it was it was hard. But that that was more about what the out. The external Baylor was thing. more of like a, a welcome mat in the Big Twelve. Yeah, well, at and, that time. Well, yeah, and, and so it's just I was taking over a hard place at a hard time. I was just so I don't want this to be a slow burn. I want to yeah. start off because I feel like that year for them was last year. And the thing that I respect about the team because because this opportunity was around for a while and I was just watching games. And what I respected about Nebraska was the players. They had just lost their coach. They had some tough losses along the way, but they just kept battling. And, like, to me, that's half the battle. Like, if you can get a group of people to commit to playing hard and fighting, even when you're kind of out of bowl contention. Like, if you go to Iowa the last game of the year and Iowa has to win that to go to the Big Ten West and you beat them, there's something in that locker room. So, that, I— That, that I fired me up. That was, yeah, that was a solid— it was a post that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I don't know. I don't know how good we are yet. I don't really think, but like, I just know this. I, don't, I know that we're starting from a place of like a big physical looking group. And I think we've done a good job recruiting so far. And, you know, the, they changed football on me during my time away. Now, like we're, we're already up to like 32 players that we can sign. Like when I got to Baylor, I can only sign 25, 20, you know, I can find a way to sneak somebody in there, kind of some u u unique rules, but I, I have more options available to me right now. So I'm excited. You know, I, I just want us to be the kind of a team, and sometimes it's hard when you have a fan base that's really passionate. I just want us to be the kind of team that's really humble. Like, hey, we feel like we can win every game. We also know we have a chance to lose every game. So let's just let's just work about, worry about today. Like, I got guys talking to me about the bowl games next year. I'm like, whoa, let's just go to the weight room, guys. Yeah, yeah. Go, to, go to go eat. Let we'll me go to come class. To handle that because yeah. I'll, I'll 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 be handling and, that. And no matter what, job. you guys are going to a bowl yeah. next year. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what, you guys will be in a bowl. You're the bus and bowl. <laughs> the bus and bowl. We yeah. created a bowl so we could be <laughs> bowl. Yeah. So no matter what, you guys will be in a bowl. So you talk about Baylor. You're walking into a situation, a bit of a scandal going on. It was a, an empty roster, yeah. to say the least. Did your mindset change when you walked into Nebraska and you're like, could we do this here? Because when you walk into Baylor, I'm sure there's a piece of you that's like, this is a lot to work with. Yeah. yeah. This is a lot. Like, how am I yeah. going to make this work? Yeah. Because I'm curious too why Nebraska, like, again, you, you come off a head coaching job in the NFL. I'm sure you got your, once you got fired, it was like your name was everywhere for a lot of big college jobs. And I'm just curious, like, yeah, why Nebraska? What was so enticing about it? Yeah. So uh, to, come, to go there. I, I think for me, it's one thing to go somewhere and try to take a program to someplace they've never been. You know, mm -hmm. they're, 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 this is getting some a program back to where it has been. Mm -hmm. And that's completely different because, you know, they have the resources, you know, they've been there before. They've seen that rare air. And so for me, it's like, OK, they've done it. So we know that. So what are my questions? Well, do they have the facilities? Absolutely. Uh, I, really, a big lesson that I've learned is to make sure that I am my plan is similar to the plan of the people that I'm around. You know, what happened in the NFL, like, you know, sometimes you have differing views. And so 
when I talked to the athletic director, Trev Alberts, who had played there, he believed in the same things I believed in. So it's not like I'm trying to convince him, no, this is the way to do it. Trust me. Like, he's like, no, Matt, I see exactly what you, how you feel. Um, Ted Carter, who, who's, who's the president of the university, like when I talked to him, he was the admiral at Navy when they were run, when they were rolling in the triple option and we went down there and beat them. So he knew what my teams looked like at Temple. He was like, Matt, just build that team here. Like that physical, like I want to run the ball yeah. and I want to play defense. And that's not, some fan bases don't really like that. Like some fan bases, like if you're not going no huddle spread, they don't want to come to the games. Nebraska people want us to run the football and play defense. They want us to dominate the line of scrimmage. They want us to be physical. And that's kind of who I've always been. So those things all came together. But the biggest question I had was, can we recruit here? Yeah. Like, can I get players here? And I actually looked at Michigan. I looked at Ohio State. I looked at Penn State. And whereas maybe, maybe, maybe 15 years ago, Penn State or Ohio State, you know, most of their kids came from that state. Everyone's kind of recruiting nationally now, right? Mm -hmm. So I went back and said, Look, let's watch the kids. There's some really good football players in Nebraska. And I thought, hey, you know what? We can get players. Because if we get good players there, we'll coach them, I think, and we'll play hard and we'll, we'll find a way to win. And um, I took a shot. And my wife knew it the whole time. She was like, this is the place for you. Really? Said, oh, yeah. I've been married for 20, 24 years, 20, going on 20. Like, I've learned to listen to her. She said, this is the place for you. This, this is where you fit. Because she knows the way I want to play football. I, I want to go out there and just make it a battle of physical wills. And I think that resonates with people in Nebraska. Yeah. yeah we got does, some baby. heat going yes. here, boys. <laughs> Nebraska. He's doing well. So if you're trying to set down a foundation, you want to, this is the way you want to play football. You go up in the locker room, right? In the O-line locker room of the Tennessee Titans, it's uh, speed off the ball, physical toughness. Like those are our foundational pieces. Hmm? What are you, what is day one implementation of making sure your foundation is set at Nebraska? So I, um, I have about four things I believe, and then I'll talk about. I had my first team meeting last night, mm -hmm. and I'm one of those guys. I don't let cameras in. I'm like, there ain't gonna be a camera following me around. I want it always to be the players. But there's there's a um, there's a book called The Greatest Salesman in the World by Og Mandino. In, in it, they have ten scrolls. And there's a, one called The Scroll Mark Three. It's I will persist until I succeed. And it, at one point, it says it's this long. You know, if I read it to the team, I start off by reading it to the team. Yeah, and it basically says, you know. I am not a sheep. I refuse to walk, talk, act, think like a sheep. The slaughterhouse of failure is not my destiny. Um, and it's and so it's like I am a lion. Like so, well, like he's fucking keep going. So, yeah, so keep to me, going. life reading that out loud to yeah. me. Yeah. I want to keep but, hearing well, this. Like well, I can't, I can't do it. I have it on my phone. But <laughs> but, but that, that's like my life first. Like and that goes back to what I said what happened to me. Um, when I say happened, when I got fired. It was like all these things I've been saying to players forever. Hey, control what you can control. I have this little saying like, what's next? Like, hey, what's whatever happened? Good, bad. What's next? I literally had to wake up every morning and go, what's next? <laughs> Control yeah. what you can. So I, I am so clear minded now. Like, Hey guys, like the, all we're going to ask you guys to do, not be perfect. I'm not asking you to be perfect. I'm just be a lion every day, attack everything in your life. And that's really how I see it. So, you know, our core values are we want to be tough. We want to be hardworking. We want to be competitive. I mean, I want them to compete at everything they do. I want them to work hard and I want them to be tough. I want them to overcome, overcome the excuses of life and just attack everything in their lives. And so, if they are those three things, tough, hardworking, competitive, then we'll, big, we'll, we'll build a big physical team that's, that's sound and smart and accountable. I'm juiced up. Um, hey, when, hey, that was some fire shit. Yeah. <laughs> like that was... I stole it from a book, though. I don't no, think I came no, up no, with it. No, We've all, we all said it with energy. Yeah. Like some people can just read a book and be like, oh, that's cool. But the way you said it, yeah. hey, the boys are going to play yeah. next year. Yeah. 